Don't know how I did it, but I'm literally here and I am shook. Hello YouTube, I'm back. Not that anyone really gives a shit, but I know I took a long ass break and like didn't make any videos. I was kind of like weird on social media for a long time. But if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm moving. I'm going to LA and my whole ass car is packed and I'm driving there all by myself. So I'm gonna vlog the whole road trip and who would have thought I'm gonna be working in corporate America cause not me, but I guess that's what I'm doing now. But I'm so excited and I literally need to get the fuck out of here. My life is in shambles right now. My life is literally crumbling as we speak. So I need to just like get the hell out of here and like floor it and just go and not turn around. So I'm leaving Kansas right now and I'm driving all the way to LA. I think it's like a 21 hour drive, but it's not too bad because I've driven my car from New York to Kansas a couple times anyway. Okay, I'll see you guys later. And hopefully I don't crash my car. I don't want to leave college. I don't want to grow up. The weirdest part of the whole thing, like that's probably what's like the happiest part too, is like since I was like 15 years old, all I ever wanted to do was move to LA. And I told my parents, I told my friends, I was like, oh, I'm going, that's what I want to do. And like, I really never thought I would actually go. So I went away to KU for four years and then here I am. Now I'm driving the rest of the way across the country to LA. And my girlfriends are going to be with me and it'll be fun. I'm excited. It's really sad, like one chapter's ending and another one's starting, so yeah, it's sad. So hopefully it won't be like sobbing. I'll probably be sobbing in the next five minutes, so maybe I'll, I'll fill you guys in when I start fucking crying again. So I've been on this same road for literally, I was supposed to be on it for like 600 miles, and I've been driving for like three hours, and there's nothing around me at all, and I'm just sitting here alone listening to Call Her Daddy, and I'm like literally about to fall asleep. And I know I've done drives like this before, like, but I was much younger and much more like excited to do it. Like, probably because I was on the way to college and like, yeah, it's gonna be fucking sick. And then now I'm driving and I'm like, I can't do it anymore. And I have so long to go. And I'm panicking. Made it to Colorado and we're in Denver. No, we're in Boulder. It's so windy. I'm gonna die. I'm with Holly. So Holly just moved here too. Well, not too. She moved here by herself. And my ass has never hiked before like this. And this is really freaking me out. But look. Look at these views. I can't take it. I mean, obviously, I came here just to get an Instagram picture. Like, we know this. I'm so bad at vlogs. But yeah, here I am in the freaking wind. We tried to take Instagram pictures all the way at the top of this mountain up here. And the wind ruined my hair, so I don't think I have a good Instagram, but well, that's what Facetune's for, right? I'm being awkward because I don't know what to say, but here is, here it is. tour across America. <laughs> Wait, it's okay. So, uh, in Dumb Bitch 101, we decided we wanted to go to this uh, glacier. What is it called? Glacier? St. Mary's Glacier. St. Mary's Glacier in Colorado. So, we drove my car and I'm out of gas also. So, sorry, mom and dad, that I did that. So, anyways, we look at, look at where I am. Okay. So, Moral of the story is we came here to go to this cool ass lake that was in the mountains so I could take a Instagram swimsuit pic. Moral of the story is we got lost in the middle of the mountains. I have no service and it is snowing. It's snowing out because we're in the middle of the mountains and I would, summer. and it's June, it's the summertime and it is snowing out. So my stupid ass didn't think that one through. So now I'm hiking down a mountain, Holly's in flip flops. We are in shorts and swimsuits. And swimsuits. <laughs> we are in the snow. It is 40 degrees. And guess, guess who didn't find the lake? Us. The lake was never found. We didn't find the lake. So if you're not from Colorado, please raise your hand. It's me. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll let you know if we make it out alive or if like the people from like the Hills of Eyes get us and then I die. <laughs> I literally 
woke up at Holly's apartment and I just left. I showered, so that's where my hair looks like a lion's mane. But we're back on the road today. We're driving right to Las Vegas. And my outfit I found literally in my suitcase that was in my trunk packed up and I'm in the parking garage ripping shit out of my trunk. So I'm literally wearing one of the outfits I actually wore in Vegas before so hopefully like I don't get a picture tonight because I look the same. But I look disgusting. And different shoes though because the shoes don't match because I couldn't find anything to match. But okay. I'm going out. I'm meeting my sister-in-law and a bunch of her friends. It's a bachelorette party. I'm exhausted. I literally got here, threw my shit down in this crazy room I got, and then got ready, and now I'm leaving. So I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully, I have a good night. I'm dripping sweat. <laughs> I ran. I've been running because I didn't want to get an Uber because it was going to take too long. So I decided it would be a better idea to run. Literally run from my hotel to the Cosmopolitan. And now I'm fucking sweating. I look like shit. So cool. Disgusting. I look exactly how I feel. Um, yeah, I'm not crying. I'm just hungover and I'm probably gonna puke, so. But yeah, I guess Vegas was tight. <laughs> here and I am shook I'm really shook like I don't know how I did this so I got an Airbnb for the week and I'm literally this whole week all I'm doing is looking at apartments to live in because I was too scared to sign a lease before I got here because I was like what area is it whatever so yes yeah, so that's what I'm doing I'm signing leases and hopefully maybe my next vlog will be an apartment tour even though I'm probably gonna be living in a cardboard box because I am a broke college bitch so okay so I've made it I can't believe I drove across the whole entire country that doesn't make any sense to me I don't know how I've done it but I did. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'm ready to just start a whole new life and I can't believe my tour across America is finally done. Um, yeah, so like and subscribe and I'll be uploading another video I, soon. I was in denial about my love. Here I stand, I know I walked away.